Hi folks, welcome to your Emrys Winter Planner. This updated on Friday the 17th of February. We do have some colder weather in the outlook through the upcoming week and even in the short term there's some wintry conditions to be found as we go into Saturday. Some snow falling over the highlands on Friday night will leave a fresh covering. Cold then across the highlands through Saturday, mild further south though, and that milder air then filters back northwards as we go through Sunday into Monday. But chillier air is expected to come back down from the north and northwest as we head onwards into the middle of the week. Possibly a much colder spell developing as we head onwards to the end of the month and even into early March. Let's have a look at some of those patterns then, and this is the forecast pressure situation for the week as a whole through until the 27th of February. And this really doesn't tell the whole story of the week, but it gives the dominant trend, and that is that higher pressure is expected to be building over the Atlantic and just to the north and northwest of Britain as time goes on. Lower pressure then is moving around towards Spain and Portugal. It's the beginnings of a real pattern shift then taking place compared to the westerly patterns that we're seeing just at the moment. The week ahead could well see this transition phase. Although there's some uncertainty of the exact positioning of high pressure, the indications remain that it will be near or to the north of Britain as we head onwards into the change of month. And that allowing the wind flow then to circulate around the high more as an easterly. There remains uncertainty in terms of whether that is a cold easterly that comes out of the Baltic or whether it's a more moderate easterly airflow from central parts of Europe. But the indications are that this is looking to be a cooler spell, a chillier spell overall, compared to some of the milder Atlantic flows we've seen at times recently. Some complexities then in that outlook and a fairly complicated story even in the short term. We have quite a, a sharp dividing line of temperature as we go into Saturday with the highlands uh, in quite a bit colder air and a freezing level that is down below 600 metres as we go through the night and that will allow precipitation to fall to quite low elevations as snow. Further south that we're in much milder air and here temperatures are well above freezing point for England and Wales across the higher mountains. Now that colder air stays around across much of the highlands through the day on a Saturday, maybe just a rise of freezing level gradually from the south and coastal areas, particularly towards the southwest of the highlands, will generally be quite a bit milder than regions further north and east. Now that uh, chillier air will stay around into Saturday night, but that will get pushed away as we go through Sunday as a warm front moves extensively eastwards during Sunday daytime and temperatures will rise well above freezing point, even to the highest summits by the end of the day. And that milder air is likely to be around in the start of the new week as well. So we're well above freezing as we go into Monday. We're just holding on to that uh, frontal zone of colder air to the north of Scotland through Monday. It might graze the far northernmost summits and keep those close to freezing point but overall Monday is a mild day. Uncertainty then exactly on timing through into Tuesday but the expectation is that, that a cold front will come back southwards and that will usher in some chillier air more extensively as we head into the middle of the week and the freezing level dropping widely with the scope for some frost into the valleys and the glens and the freezing level even by Wednesday daytime suggested as being around 600 metres and that situation could well be around to the end of the week as well with that low freezing level forecast here on these charts with overnight frost too uh, even through Thursday, Friday and possibly beyond through into the weekend. So colder air is moving its way in and likely to stay for a good little while. Looking at the snow depth situation, well, nothing really to see on Friday evening, but as we go through the night, as precipitation runs into that cold air, as mentioned, we'll see some snowfall and that will give a good coverage across the highlands as we go through to dawn on Saturday morning. Then some lying snow even down to quite low elevations, four or five hundred metres or maybe even a bit lower around the Cairngorms, for example. Areas towards the central belt and coastal regions in the south and west seeing comparatively milder air, so any snow would be really confined to the highest mountains here but well inland across Loch Arbor it'll be down to some lower elevations as we start the day on Saturday. The far north of the highlands may just about miss at this front as it comes through. That snow though will stay on the ground across the hills and mountains through the daytime as temperatures remain low as we've seen. It will gradually begin to thaw as we go through Sunday though as the next weather system comes in so just diminishing from the west as time goes on. 
Taking you through Monday and that snow more or less fades away and that milder air has then allowed for that thaw in the start of the week. But here comes some further snow likely into the middle of the week as those temperatures fall and showers of snow and hail come back in. The focus toward the west and north of Scotland that may be some more substantial snowfalls in places here if showers do become more organised. And the hints at the end of the week that the chillier east or northeasterly winds could develop and that shows some snow developing around the Cheviots and the eastern side of of the Pennines. The snow lying across the highlands too, indicating that colder air is staying around. This is how things look on the synoptic charts then, and Saturday sees the remnants of the front which brought the overnight snow still draped across central and southern parts of Scotland, and it might just shuffle back northwards with some drizzle just encroaching into the southern highlands and more coastal regions in the southwest during the day. But northern regions of Scotland in much clearer air and with some sunshine around, a bright day to be expected across much of the northwest and the northern Cairngorms. Cloudier though, and maybe murkier the further you go to the south of the highlands. Mostly light winds too for a good part of the highlands with the isobars well spaced out over Scotland but a much windier day further south, upland gales across the tops in England and Wales much of Saturday still rather gusty in places to some lower slopes as well with cloud and spits and spots of rain or drizzle coming in on those westerly winds. A warm front brings rain and drizzle fairly persistently to west and northwest Scotland during Sunday with extensive low cloud shrouding the hills to low elevations, patchier rain and higher cloud bases the further east you go across the highlands, some snowfall for a time before that milder air turns things wetter to higher slopes. Across England and Wales we'll see low cloud and spits and spots of drizzle trying to come on to western hills. Amounts fairly small here but it could be a rather murky and damp day near to the Irish Sea. Some brighter conditions to be found around the Peak District and eastern side of the Pennines but still some banks of low cloud coming in from the west. Looking a blustery day too, increasingly windy across Scotland. Gale force at west south westerlies increasingly as the day is going on. It stays windy into Monday with upland gales pretty widespread, severe gales over some of the higher tops during the day. A front is draped across Scotland, a bit of uncertainty on its exact position. It may just wriggle slightly southwards and then back northwards again during the day. So it could lead to a brighter spell for a time over the far north of the highlands before rain extends further northwards again. The rain a bit patchier too, the further east you go towards the Cairngorms. For England and Wales, drizzly, murky and damp with that uh, air mass coming in from the southwest. It's mild, but the hills clagged in with low cloud and some patchy drizzle, a bit brighter to the lee of high ground further east across England and Wales. Tuesday into Wednesday, there is uncertainty of the exact progress of weather systems. So basically, we're moving towards that colder air coming in from the northwest behind the cold front. The timing then is uncertain. That low, which is just northeast of Scotland, could develop a bit stronger than shown here as well. It still, either way, looks a windy day with the risk of upland gales, some rain then turning to snow or hail showers from the northwest. By Wednesday, could put us all into a much chillier airflow then, with showery conditions and snow and hail coming in to those windward mountains in the north and the west. It still looks windy though, with the risk of gales once more and severe wind chill factor by this stage. Detail becomes really quite tricky as we go into the later part of the week, so we shall see how that unfolds and keep you right up to date in all the videos and the forecasts, which can be found every day, of course, for your local area on our website. For today, that is your winter planner. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.